the entire show. So first talk about star schema. I'll write one line description about each of them and subsequently when you are mature enough in understanding what is requirement, we'll add more point over there. Star schema is designed for fast query access. Poor at uh, right operation and large number of duplicate records. What is the area which we are more concerned about? Fast query performance. See, when you move from a star schema toward snowflake, the difference is same as the difference between transactional system to analytical system or on simple way you go for no denormalization to normalization now you go back to the fundamental database we learn normalization, first level normalization, second level, third level. What is the overall objective? The overall objective is to organize your table, splitting your table into multiple pieces, split table into multiple pieces, therefore my model support, insert and update and delete operation. The overall objective of denormalization is to do this job. Insert, update and delete operation, the normalization part. So normalization and denormalization are two sides of the coin. Star schema and denormalized. Why? We don't require insert, update and delete operation. We do not require these operations. Data warehousing is analytical needs. It means my all queries require only select operation. What is the overall objective? Select operation. There is an advanced data warehousing where we have insert operation also. I'm going with the fundamentals. What is your transaction need? My transaction need is insert, update and delete. What is data warehousing need? Data warehousing need is select operation. Only read, no write. We call it star schema because it look like this way. Now I'm going to design a star schema in front of you. This becomes a star schema. I can show you even a simple example. Let me show you a simple example. Even simpler than this. It's a one table. What is this? This is star schema. Why star? It looks like a star. So star schema has one fact table surrounded by a dimension table. Star schema has one fact table surrounded by a dimension table. Now if you look at carefully, each dimension table talk about one subject area. One for product, one for time and one for store. What is the fundamental? The more join we have, the slower the query. Assume I have got a customer table. Right? Customer table is collection of these table. I split the customer table into four pieces. Customer stats, one table. Customer personal info, another table, customer correspondence, and customer history. 
when I this is what this is denormalized if I denormalize it become one table denormalize means one table normalize means four table so when I normalize we split the table into multiple pieces when you denormalize we do the other way around so star schema there is a one table for one subject area or one dimension or one subject area store has one dimension when I split this into two pieces this is not re remain the star schema this is star schema look at this I'm graphically normalizing one table or one dimension I split into two dimension this is normalization this is denormalization so in the star schema each dimension is denormalized so you have few query so sorry you have few tables so query become faster right few tables only three tables when I fetch the data I need to apply two joins there are four tables I need to apply three joins right how your query would be it would be something like this if I need a customer product or information from period days comma sales fact comma stores and finally products okay now how do you do it you apply where clause in order to join them period days my product ID sorry, period days dot day key equals to sales fact dot day key you apply join over here then you apply join over here and apply join how many join one two three right when I split this dimension into two pieces, number of join has been increased. So the more join you have, the slower your query is. So the moral of the story is this two point we need to understand. Star schema. I add to this point. We say star schema fast query performance. Why? Why query perform fast? because each dimension is highly denormalized each dimension is highly denormalized there is one dimension each type if data is denormalized we have large number of duplicate records isn't it look at this I denormalize everything to one table the costs are being repeated if I would have split these two tables into separate tables I could have avoided this duplicate records for each transaction you make you need to make a duplicate entry for all this so when you denormalize you have large number of duplicate records therefore right operation is poor star schema not designed not designed at all for star op I mean right operation and large number of duplicate records from high PM point of view we have to have a star schema we have to have star schema so even if I have non star schema model the data modeler team what they supposed to do data model team should suppose to convert any model given to me in the format which convert to star schema now look what I am doing I have got two fact table we supposed to merge these two fact table into single fact table and this become my star schema right no dimension is further normalized 
So star schema is a relational database schema for representing multi-dimensional database. Star schema design to represent multi-dimensional database. It is simple form of data warehousing that contain one or more dimension and effect tables. It is called a star schema because the entity relation diagram dimension and fact a star where one fact table is connected to multiple dimension table. One fact table connected to multiple dimension table. The center of star schema is a large fact table point towards all dimension. The advantage of star schema is that we will discuss about slicing dicing primarily perform increase and easy to understand. The querying on star schema is very fast and it is easy to understand. Okay, steps in designing a star schema, you identify the dimension, facts, keys, Everything I explain you, the same thing are there. Identify the business process for analytics, right? Business process, analytics means what you are doing to analyze. You are going to analyze sales information, product information, promotion. So identify the business process and identify the facts. So we split in two pieces. What data you want to analyze and what point of view. I want to analyze my sales data from product point of view, from customer point of view. Then identify the dimension of facts. Everything which I shown you in, in the report, the same thing you do over here. What dimension, what fact, what hierarchy, what is the level of detailed data or granularity of data you want to identify. Every dimension table have a primary key and each dimension table is highly denormalized and therefore it doesn't have any parent. We have to have a hierarchy in order to find the relationship. You can see the relationship is absolutely visible over here. For product, we have product line. Under product line, we have got product category, subcategory and name. We also have a hierarchy for country and city. In country, Australia, there are many cities. Newcastle and Sydney. So this is a hierarchy. We also have hierarchy for store, online store. Under online store, we have there are many manager. Under each manager, there are many stores. So hierarchy is hidden in the requirement itself. Okay. So we model the star schema. You request your data modeler to provide you star schema 